office. I'm trying to do a little work. But I did buy... A, a local friend of mine was shutting down her shop. So I ended up buying all of her raw materials. So I'm trying to find a place to put them. But I got these nice... They're crochet... Uh, basically a lot of people wear them as tops. And then we put tulle around the bottom. I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet. We'll see. But I've got... Quite a few of them in black, white, and a uh, couple white, and then pink. So I'm gonna have to find out what to do with them, where to store them, and then I still haven't got my new power bar for my other area over there. <laughs> I have the two presses, the 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 silhouette machine, my computer to plug in over there, and I can't do it till I get that power bar. <clears throat> the sad thing is, is the power bar is was sold at Home Depot and now it's not and I, it's a 10 plug but the reason I like it I have one already but I actually get them like screwed right into the metal on my desks so they don't move they don't shift nothing and what I like about them is they're a fully metal power bar like they're heavy duty I did find it on Home Depot's website so I'm gonna order it through them and then hopefully my dad will come and anchor it into my unit and over in that little area I need to plug in two overhead lights, two heat presses, my silhouette, my laptop if I need to, the TV and the cable box if I want it on there and then that should be all that needs to be plugged in all the time. No way would I run all of those things at the same time but I want a 10 plug because it just saves me having to keep unplugging things. So that way if I have three extra plugs left over, I can, if I have to put in the cordless iron over there, because I do have one for over at that station, I can plug in it, it in. If I need to charge my phone, I can plug it in over there. If just anything. Not sure if you noticed, but I got new glasses. I just picked them up today. I'm not really sure how I feel about them. The prescription I was wearing, my daughter broke my glasses, so the glasses you've been seeing me wear are from 10 years ago. <laughs> she broke my pair about 7 months ago, and I just didn't get around to replacing them. I've had the prescription, I just didn't get around to it. But I got two new pairs, so I got this pair for working in the office. I'm not really big on the big look, but... I'm in the office, when I wear my squared ones, every time I look down I couldn't see. So this way, having the bigger ones, is going to help me be able to look down and see. So these are going to be my office pair. And then I bought another pair. They are basically the same front look of my pair that my daughter broke, but the arms are different. So. My problem is, is I'm wearing a since I'm so used to the prescription I was wearing in those glasses, these ones I'm like tripping on myself. I'm stepping and I'm like, whoa, that's right there. It's just everything's so crisp and clear. Could be because these are so clean. Um, who knows? But I'm really liking them. But I have. We're going to the beach with a friend tomorrow, and her boys need new hats. So, because I bought these heat presses, they have hat presses on them, so I wanted to try making them. So I ordered the boys some hats. I designed a couple things for them. So, Plants vs. Alien. These are some of their favorite things. So, we're going to give this heat press a try. And it's going to go like that. kind of nervous. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a test run on a scrap piece, scrap piece of fabric or something. Not sure yet. But yes, I am nervous. <laughs> so I took all the plat platens off of that heat press and I've added in that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give it a so I have to wait till it gets higher. So, 
so while that's heating up, it's at about 300 degrees, I'm going to open up this package and show you what I got. It's just more shirts. I'm kind of nervous because I've never ordered this one brand of shirt. But it's for a sports team and the girls really wanted the thinnest shirt I could get. So I called the company and I asked. And they assured me. So it's not even a full box. Like this is a small. This order is being shipped in. This order is being shipped in a few packages because it's coming. This supplier has I think like four warehouses across Canada so it's just wherever the supply is they ship it from so here's the tanks that I was nervous about oh they are super thin this is what they wanted I like the curve at the bottom it's a racer back so they're actually not that bad of a weight like they feel nice so I've got one got four sizes for those, so that's good. Then this is for my brother's wedding. He needed a smaller shirt, so I got his. Then the coach for the team wanted a sleeveless, so I got that. That's the one I got for Phil, actually. Yeah. This is a performance one. So it's nice and, like, thin and lightweight. I can smell my heat press. It's actually a pretty neat shirt. I kind of like it. But that's all I got in that order, so I'll have to fold all that and get it ready. These are all, this whole box I have to press. They're all heat press orders. <laughs>